you know, I do not write out of belief. I do not write out of knowing. I write to be in relationship to perplexity. My name is Mary Shebist and I am a poet. And he came to her and said, the Lord is troubled in mind. Be afraid, Mary. The holy will overshadow you. Therefore, be nothing. Be impossible. Flannery O'Connor says, beliefs are the light by which we see but they should not be what we see, and they should not be a substitute for seeing. I think what, what motivated the collection was, I think for a long time, I moved away from Catholicism, and I really wanted to leave behind its, its shaping pressures on, on my imagination. If you want to have a new relationship, you need to make it. You know, I grew up with the name Mary. I grew up attending the Church of Annunciation. It's a scene I spent many, many hours sort of looking up at. And my best friend's name is Gabriella. Uh, so in some way, we really thought of it as our scene. To have grown up with this image of here is, here is the ideal. The message is that you're valued for your virginity and you are valued for being a mother. And to grow up to be neither a virgin nor a mother leaves, leaves the puzzle under that kind of pressure of imagination. How does one value oneself? And how should one be valued? So I went back to these formative images that were inside of me and wanted to sort of remake them in order to have a new relationship. I go to poetry as a space of contemplation to be in relationship to my own perplexities. That is contemplation for me. Uh, Emerson said, everybody wants to be settled, but only so far as we are not settled is there any hope for us. <laughs> and, you know, I think largely I go to poems because I'm, I'm so often tempted to want to settle. And poems are a way of making folds and adding textures and layers and not allowing myself to be settled because I do think that. I do think that only so far as I'm unsettled is there any hope for me. <laughs>